Hello Chris, let's start with the basics to try to figure this out. I know that you've checked these fuses, fuse 106, 61, 9, and 2, but what I want you to check is if you have power at the lamp module itself. Let's start with the feed from fuse 106. It's going to go to pin 15, which is connector X12, which is, these are going to be different connectors. So for that first one, the connector is up top right here on the lamp module. So with the key on, you should have 12 volts here, pin 8 at X38, which is this connector right here. You should have 12 volts also. And pins 13 and 31 are from a different connector. And that's X10117. And that's this connector right here. So you have the top one, the bottom one, and then this is 10117. So on 10117, you want to check pin 13. You should have 12 volts. And pin 31 should have 12 volts. And then on X12, these are the two grounds, pin 7 and pin 2. So again, X12, to check your ground, X12 was up here, the very top one. And you could actually use a test light for these it's really the best way also so you can you know that they light up the test light nice and bright now you could put power to pin 7 with a test light <clears throat> and then this would complete the ground which would make the test light light up and then this is the other ground which is pin 2 but it's a different connector X38 and X38 is this bottom connector right here this this white one. So we want to see 12 volts, 12 volts, that's going to be 12 volts KLR accessory. This should also be 12 volts KL15. And then we should have a good ground on pin 7 and pin 2. And that's the light module itself. <clears throat> Now the other component that uh, I don't think would be the problem, but something to consider would be the light switch itself. Um, parking lights, headlights on, fog lights on, rear fog lights. And that's this component right here, S8. And basically that's just the on switch, which tells the lamp module to turn the headlights on. Which is this component right here. Uh, you would have to swap in uh, another light switch, but I think first, this is the light switch here, which basically is just uh, different contactors to tell it what mode it's in. So this one would be a hard one to, to jump to tell the lamp module um, what to turn on. I don't think it's going to be this component, so the best thing to do would be to check those powers and grounds right at the lamp module, and then also check power to the connector for the lights that aren't working to see if power is getting to the connectors. This is the diagram for the headlights themselves. As you can see, the light module is what feeds each circuit to the headlight. And let's start with the left headlight right here. You can see that uh, number one is the side light, number two is the low beam, and number three is the high beam. So you should have power. Here's the ground. These two, 165, 66, this has 166 in common over here. But at this connector, which is X13420. Which is basically going to be the connector at the headlight. 
with the headlights turned on and the lamp module has power to power and ground correct you should be getting voltage at with the switch on 3, 6, and 7 with those lights on so you could also check 2 <clears throat> and 4 this is the left headlight to make sure that you have a good ground let's see where 165 is left front wheel well that's the ground I don't know why that would be affected from just doing an alternator and then X165 basically the same front left wheelhouse wheel well and then for the right headlight same thing this should be the power output you should have power at pins 3, 6, and 7 of the connector for the headlight and then this is the ground 2 and 4 and let's see we got 166 for the ground which is the wheel well front right so the only thing that uh, this could be if everything's checking out fine now you could also check continuity if you're not getting power um, between each wire to the headlight um, actually you could actually apply power here which would then feed one of these lights so let's take a look at that real quick let's say low beam headlight number two because that one is one of the ones you said is not working that would be pin 11 of X12 right which is up here and most of these lights I think are going to be the large gauge wiring so pin 11 at the lamp module and that's going to feed pin 3 which is the connector at the connector little hiccup there all right and then um, x38 which is the white one that should be feeding pin 6 so pin 6 to pin 6 and that's going to feed number 3 which is the high beam headlight and then x10117 so all of these are the same connectors there's 10117 the middle one and that's going to be pin 18 to pin 7 so for the right headlight at uh, x38 is pin 3 to pin 3 at the headlight and then pin 13 this is both x12 so 13 to 6 and 3 to 7 and you should have power here and hopefully some of these basic tests are going to lead to what might be causing the problem um, if everything checks out good and your wiring is good and your voltage to the lamp module are good and you can power this up so disconnect this connector and go ahead and power up a light yourself and it lights up um, I would definitely suspect that switch center not overly common for those to go now you also said that you had brake lights that weren't working for the brake lights you do have the brake light switch which is going to tell the lamp module to activate the lights that's fed from fuse 9 if you haven't gone through all the fuses with the test light I like to in a weird problem like this go ahead and touch each fuse just to see if you can find a random fuse that might be affecting the system that might have opened and uh, check in the glove box and check in the right rear of the, the hatch and just check each and every fuse and also look for any spots that it looks like a fuse is missing not that you would have removed a fuse but you know I've seen some strange things and uh, just a quick look over might help
So let's go to the rear left brake light. Let's say we want tail light, brake lights from 2003. Tail light left. As you can see, all these are fed from the lamp module as well. Here's X12 pin 9 to pin 5 at the tail light left, and that's uh, number 1 is the tail light and the brake light. So this is the brake light circuit. And then this is going to be the tail light right. And we're at X38, pins 14 and 13 at the lamp module. And that's going to go to pins 2 and 4 at the tail light right. And the brake light is 1 and 4. So this is tail light and the brake light right here. So 14 and 2. So everything still has that lamp module in common. It doesn't look like there's any grounds that you would have affected by doing an alternator. So I'm not sure what an alternator has to do with this. Um, you might want to just check the wiring. Maybe something got pinched. And hopefully those basic checks um, for power and ground to the lamp module might yield something saying that uh, it's being brought down from uh, one of those wires and uh, you might be able to trace it back then just by ohming it out. Let me know what you find. I hope this helps Chris and uh, you know I'll definitely try to help you figure this out so once you do all this test um, let me know and hopefully um, this will make sense once uh, you trace down exactly what uh, the lamp module has for powers and grounds.